let us talk about different types of abutments now the first abutment we have student is the pier abutment so pier abutment is actually a free standing abutment so what is meant by free standing abutment a free standing abutment is the one when you have a natural tooth which does not have any tooth mesial or distal to it so it is standing free right with no tooth mesial no tooth mesial, distal to it that's called as a pier abutment but the problem with the pier abutment is that since it does not have any tooth mesial or distal it can act like a liver class 1 liver effect it can create a fulcrum effect and can displace the bridge whenever you are using the pier abutment you always using a non rigid connector the use of the non rigid connector is that it will prevent the bridge from getting displaced and it will give all the force all the stresses to be transported to the uh, mucosa over the ridge not on the abutment tooth directly so non rigid connector it is not a solder union it's a solder union it's called as a rigid connector for the pier abutments we use a non rigid connector which is a broken stress mechanical union of a retainer abutment and the ponting it is used only for short span bridges like replacing one tooth like a three unit bridge like that so using a non rigid connector will minimize not only the displacing forces on the abutment by eliminating the fulcrum effect but also minimize the mesial distal torquing or the rotation this is the key way that we are having and this is a t shaped key if you can see closely it is a t shaped key that is entering into the keyway let's see where we place this the dovetail keyway of the connector it is placed on the distal side of the pier abutment so placing on the distal side it comes with advantage because all the posterior teeth they have a tendency to drift mesially so when it drift mesially it is going to push key more solidly into the keyway now the keyway is where the key is being inserted it is placed on the mesial side of the distal pontic the most common key design as i told you is a t shaped key the one thing that is very important and that you should remember that the path of insertion of the key into the keyway is parallel to the pathway of the retainer but not involved with the keyway now let us talk about two topics uh, here about two bridges students are confused that what is cantilever bridge what's a maryland bridge it's very easy students first of all you should know that the cantilever bridge is where the abutment is only on one side of the pontic what does it mean for example you have a missing lateral incisor using canine as abutment and pontic for your lateral incisor so that canine act like a cantilever abutment strong abutment we know that canines of course having long root they are very strong abutment they give very good support and there are different indications where you can use a cantilever design for example the most common we have is replacing a maxillary lateral missing but the canine has to be abutment in this case we cannot use maxillary central incisor abutment no for na where the pontic can replace a first premolar and you are using second premolar and the first molar as abutment or when you are replacing first molar and you are using both the premolars as the abutment to avoid any lateral rpd or preventing any supra eruptions if you can look at the picture here we can see that you are replacing this is the canine here and this is your lateral incisor canine is acting like a abutment and lateral incisor what you are replacing this is the pontic we have now the next design we have they are called as the maryland bridges now what are maryland bridges Maryland bridges, uh, students, they are the resin bonded bridges. When you are bonding the bridge to the two structure, is a Maryland bridge. Now, one thing you have to remember in Maryland bridge is you are using minimal tooth preparation when you place a Maryland bridge because you are already etching and bonding it. So, when you have to do less tooth preparation, like in children, you don't want to cut much of the tooth structure because you don't want to do the pulp exposure. They have thin enamel, thin dentine. So, Maryland bridges are very good. All the margins are still supra gingival here and. Uh, very good thing there is no chance of sensitivity right we just into the enamel but contraindications always remain because maryland bridge can only be used for short span bridges if you can look at the picture here this is the bonding resin bonding to the metal and this is the teeth that you are replacing your central incisor but since you are not doing any tooth preparation here uh, abutments both the abutments here this central incisor and this lateral incisor they should be very unblemished caries free because you are not going to do any tooth preparation on them also for maryland bridge you can require some retaining grooves that will add extra retention to your preparation 
it is used only for short span bridges like replacing one to two mandibular incisors or replacing uh, one to two maxillary incisors if when abutments are unblemished and the patient has an open bite end to end or moderate overbites then you can always give the madeline bridge but madeline bridge of course has a disadvantage as i told you minimal to preparation is an advantage a disadvantage in the sense that you cannot do any modifications on the abutment tooth secondly you have everything that is important for madeline bridge and secondly one of the disadvantage of the madeline bridge is that there is no temporization there is no temporary bridge that you can come in middle because everything is bonded directly so patient don't have any trial period in between one more bridge that we can quickly talk about is the rochet bridge this is a rochet bridge you can see it like a wing like preparation you can see on both the side so these are the pontics that you have replaced and these two are the abutment tooth that is your central incisor on this side and the canine on this side you can see there is a perforation on the metal here so it's a funnel shape preparation perforations to increase the resin retention this will increase the surface area and have better bonding with the saline coupling agent to produce adhesion to the metal